Bob's here in London. Another cup win, boys. On to the fifth yeah. round. Yeah. This is going well in the cup this season, is it not, Landon? I'm all for the ride. These, cup, these, these games keep coming thick and fast, but, you know, we're winning them. And, you know, we want to get to another Wembley final, because, let's be honest, I can't see it slipping up next week. So, long may it continue. That's it. Talking about slip up from uh, that team selection there was one of surprise to us. But, like Landon said then, one that says we're not slipping up. We're getting this game won. And we're moving on safely. And still, apart from the odd sort of moan and groan and not being able to finish our dinner in the first half, it was put to bed. And we did then bring on a few substitutes and rest key players. Would you happy with that approach from tonight? Mm, at the beginning, I would probably say no, because yeah. like I feel like we should rest these days. They play too many games. Everton play too many games. Rashford should have a rest. Casemiro should have a rest. Like a few days later, should have a rest. Could have given the younger players a chance. But then again, I think it's quite hard for them to win these games. And I think if we get the young players, we might not have that chance. But the ten arms, the manager at the end of the day. If I was him, I probably would have done differently. But because he's the manager, still got to trust him. We won the game. It was a pretty first half. I think Rashford should have got a goal, but the referee was just terrible today. But other than that, we got the win. It was a brilliant and stuff, but at the end of the day, the FA Cup is the magic of the FA Cup. Anything can happen, so I did the day we just need to win the game. Are you fancy the next round, Landon? Don't matter. Don't matter. Don't matter. <coughs> Homer away? We had, a whole, we had an away draw in the Cup. For two seasons. You know what I like? I like having these home games. You know? I, don't <laughs> yeah. mind it. I don't mind it, you know. Like, I think we made it a fortress, so why not Why not have another home game? Let's, you know, we can... Give us Arsenal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Someone said before that was, uh, was it 11 wins in a row landing at home now? So the fortress thing is it's definitely there. Yeah, you know, it's we're beating the teams, we're beating, you know, the big teams. Everyone say we're beating small teams, but we are beating the bigger teams here. So, I back us, you know, any... I back us to be fair at most games, but at home, definitely, I think we can take anyone. City, Liverpool and other ones who are still in it. They they want to they wouldn't want to come here at the end of the day because they know they both had a, they both had a beating here and they know what the atmosphere is like so they wouldn't want to come here either. Do you understand Mubs, uh, the momentum factor coming off the back of a poor week last week five points dropped in the league we got the job done early against Forest which is good he came out of a strong team here tonight is he looking at a momentum factor because I think these players work off form they work off confidence and. He's just shut that week down with two straight wins, six goals, one conceded. And he said to the players, look, you've got this. He's used these games and he's used them to his advantage. Let's bring us straight back to where we was before that bad week in the league. I think, yeah, momentum is the main thing because we're not going to win every single game and you can't really expect us to win every single game. We're not there yet. But the main thing is, is we come back. Every time we fall down, we get back up. We come back. I think it's a Palace and Arsenal game. Even though we drew a loss at the end, it was right at the end. We could have actually, Palace could have got the three points and Arsenal, we could have uh, went with a draw, but at the end of the day, it didn't happen, but at least we come back winning. We don't, we forget about the past, we focus on what's today so that we can get better to the future. That's it, mate. I mean, Landon, looking ahead to the busy February period now, <clears throat> are you at a stage now where you're expecting top four? You're expecting a trophy? Because the form that we're in, the, the runs that we've been on, yeah, it's like a season can be turned around in one game everything can go wrong but where's your expectation levels now after that bad week like Mubsy said then we bounce back again do you expect fourth and a trophy now of this team and what we've got in front of us it has to be because is that not what the standard I know we want to be winning the league but we set standards of winning things so win a trophy and get top four and see where we can finish we might not finish fourth we might finish third Second, who knows? But what I'm saying is, get top four and we get a trophy. You know, I was lucky enough to go to the United Legends this afternoon, and they were talking about about actually, you know, winning that first trophy, the cup winners, winning that, and that set them up to then go go again and win the league. You know, these cups. You know, I know it's the Carabao Cup, but they do matter. Getting the FA Cup final, go win it. You know, I think we can do it, and it just. We're winning, you know, Breeze and winning, winning mentality. We've got winners in that team. We've got Champions League winners. So they know what it takes. Ted Hag knows what it takes. He's won trophies at his previous club at Ajax. So these players that we have now, especially the young ones coming through, they need to taste what it feels like to be a winner. Yeah. And we have, we have to, that's the standard as fans that we should set. Winning things season in, season out. 
question for both of you before we finish up. There were a few questions, moans, groans, not so sure as when the announcement for Man of the Match came tonight. <clears throat> Some have said Anthony deserved it. Some have said no, completely no. Where are you both at with it? Um, he played well. Don't get me wrong. Anthony actually is probably one of his better games he's had recently um, today, I thought. But Casemiro, two goals. I don't understand how he would have got it, but to me, Casemiro was my man of the match. Bob's there, what are you saying? Casemiro was my man of the match as well. Actually, I don't know. I was like, why did you give it to him? All right, he had a decent game and stuff, and he got the assist for Casemiro's first goal, but at the end of the day, he like Casemiro was the better player today. He's the one that changed the game in the second half. I think mean, I need some brilliant. He's always brilliant as well, but I feel like today he should have been him. Uh, guys, brilliant, brilliant analysis. Loving the smiles, loving the confidence. Cheers for coming on. We'll see you for Forest on Wednesday.